Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I'm back with another Mother Warfare commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my Season 3 Honest Review. By the way guys, I apologize if I sound a little more quiet during this commentary. It's a little late right now. It's actually about to be 3 a.m. as I'm recording this video. So obviously I'm not trying to be too loud and wake up everybody. So again, I apologize. But anyways, with Season 3 finally wrapping up and coming to an end and Season 4 being right around the corner, I decided that today should finally be the day that I give you guys my honest review and opinion on Season 3 and basically tell you guys how I felt about it. Now first things first, I want to start out by saying that Season 3, to me at least, was probably, or not probably, for sure the best season we have so far had on Modern Warfare. I mean, it was better than Season 2, 1, and 0. And I've noticed a pattern recently where every time we get a new season here on Modern Warfare, it's already better than the previous one. Like for example, Season 1 was better than Season 0, and then Season 2 came out, it was already better than Season 1 and 0. And then now we have Season 3, and it's already better than Season 2, 1, and 0. And I'm gonna call it out right now, guys. Season 4 is gonna be better than Season 3, 2, 1, and 0. <laughs> and when I make a review on it, I'm gonna say that it's the best season we have had so far. Because, I don't know, again, every time we get a new season, it's just, it's already better than the previous one. And that's another reason why I'm super hyped and cannot wait for the Season 4. And you know what, guys? I find this to be pretty impressive especially right now because even during the pandemic Infinity Ward has managed to update Modern Warfare frequently give us new content and improve the seasons every time we get a new one I mean <laughs> That's amazing, and I give Infinity Ward props for that. During the season, we got five new maps, or I should say five quote-unquote new maps, and those were Talsic Backlot, which is basically a remake of Backlot from Cop War and Modern Warfare, Ania Incursion, which is a smaller version of Ania Palace, and it's supposed to be suitable for 6v6 gameplay. Uh, we also got Hovik Samo, which is a completely new map that we have never seen before, and I like that map, man. It's actually one of the better DLC maps that we have ever seen, and it plays out pretty well. We also got um, IO9, which is a new gunfight map, and I'll talk more about this one when I talk about the playlist because we got a special playlist for it and it was a lot of fun, but again, IO9, new gunfight map for Gunfight 2v2 or the special playlist I'm talking about. And the final map we got was Hardhead, which is basically Hardhead from MW3. And honestly guys, all of these maps were amazing. I thought the best ones were either Backlot or io9 hard had this cool now but the camping oh my goodness guys i just it's horrible and also the double teaming the spawns are pretty good that's one thing i like about the map because rust when rust made a return i thought it was cool because it came back in its original form but the spawns were horrendous and they still are to this day so <laughs> that's the only reason why rust to be right now is not really the best remake so yeah, I think one of the be better remakes is probably Backlot, even though they added a couple new save spaces. I feel like Backlot still plays out pretty well, so Backlot was probably my favorite uh, remake, uh, especially on Modern Warfare right now. And IO9. IO9 just, oh man, it was chaotic on there. My least favorite ones were probably, or actually my least favorite one was probably a Neon Incursion, even though my first match ever on that map. I went off drop the Juggernaut, but I don't know, man. I feel like a Neon Incursion, even though it's a smaller version of a Neo Palace, it's still pretty campy, and the spawn trapping on there, oh man, horrendous. So, yeah, I'm not really trying to experience another match on a Neon Incursion ever. We also got a good amount of playlists, and of course, we got a 24 7 playlist for all of the new maps. The first one was the Season 3 Mosh Pit playlist, where you could play Domination, Hardpoint, Kill Confirmed, or TDM on either Hobbit Sawmill, a Neon Incursion, or Talsic Backla. And then the other playlist we got, which was one of my favorites during the season, was Clean Up on IO9. <laughs> this playlist was very chaotic, man. It's basically IO9, which is a new Gunfight 2v2 map, but instead of just being a Gunfight 2v2 map, it was actually a 3v3 uh, playlist where you can play on IO9 on either Domination, Kill Confirm, Grind, or TDM. And guys, again, this map is very small. It's a Gunfight map, so... It was very chaotic, and I can only imagine how much more chaotic it would have been if it was 6v6, but of course that would have been too crazy. And another cool thing about IO9 is also the easter egg that we had. I mean, you were actually able to get a golden toilet paper, or see a golden toilet paper inside of the truck, I think uh, in the middle of the map. And there was also confetti in there if you did a little easter egg where you had to kill 10 teddy bears and... <laughs> Oh man, it was a little funny one. I can see where the reference is coming from, so nice joke there, Activision, I guess. And then um, we also got another playlist, which was Hard Hat 24-7. <laughs> now guys, I like Hard Hat and all, don't get me wrong, but 
I don't think that is a map to play 24-7, like Shoe House, Shipman, Towsic Backlot, or any other map, because, again, Hardhead is cool now, and of course I enjoyed it since MW3, but here on Modern Warfare 2019, you get burnt out easily on them, mainly because, well, the camping is just horrendous, and also the double teaming, triple teaming, quadruple teaming, or whatever, I don't know, I just feel like everybody on Hardhead nowadays just camps or double teams, and... It's not really fun, but at the same time, it is fun whenever you get those good matches on there because it's hard hat and, you know, it's a good old nostalgic map, but again, not the map for me to play 24-7 on for sure. We also got three new weapons during the season, and all of them are pretty badass. The first one was the Renetti, which is a pistol. The second one was the SKS, which is a marksman rifle, and the third one was the Bruin MK9, which is a new LMG. And Again, all of these weapons were amazing. The Renetis especially were too crazy and even overpowered at one point. I mean, <laughs> they had to get nerfed like two to three times. And it was even crazier when you put on the Akimbo attachment and the Burst mod on it. That would just make it way too crazy. And I have yet to make a video on that, guys. And don't worry, guys. I will in the future when I get the maskers on it. But it might be too late. At the same time, we'll still find a way to have fun with them. And of course, these weapons are free, and I'm so happy that Activision is sticking with that system where all the weapons are free. All the stat changing weapons are gonna be free no matter what, even if you don't buy the battle pass, which is 10 bucks. And again, I'm happy about that because if it was pay to win, there will be problems, man. A lot of people will get mad about that, including myself, and yeah, it just wouldn't be fun. And speaking about the battle pass, Oh my goodness guys, this time around the battle pass for season 3 was again the best one we've seen from any season. The rewards we got this time around were a lot better than the ones we got from season 2, 1, and 0 and that goes for even the calling cards, the emblems, the stickers, the weapon charms, the sprays, <laughs> all that guys, even those were better. But of course the most important ones were the new weapons, the vehicle skins, which by the way guys that's a new feature now where you could customize your vehicles in terms of the camos, you could actually put camos over your vehicles for Warzone and Ground War. And then we also got new um, operator skins, which all of them were pretty sick to me, especially the free ones that we got and the ones um, that were at tier 100 and even tier 90, tier 80, tier 70, all of those were pretty sick. And also the Season 3 Emblem, which is basically that gold emblem that has uh, Alex in it. That one was also pretty nice. You know, every reward, pretty much all of them were sick. And again, that just hypes me up even more and makes me wonder what kind of rewards are we going to get for Season 4. And again, they're most likely going to be a lot better than the ones that we got for Season 3, 2, 1, and 0. And... <laughs> I just cannot wait guys, I cannot wait. We also had a lot of interesting things occur during Season 3, as I said in my previous monthly review. It was a pretty interesting month, mainly because of Warzone. Now, on the Warzone side, we had the bunkers open up for the first time finally, and oh man, it's pretty crazy seeing all that loot down there, being able to basically stack up on killstreaks, weapons, ammo, money, all that kind of stuff, but the most important well i guess we could say important the most interesting bunker to me was bunker 11 and i have yet to get in there and see it for myself but bunker 11 basically has a nuke that's being constructed right now a bunch of computers monitors and a countdown that goes from 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 but it stops at 2 it doesn't go down to 1 and 0 because i don't know i guess uh the nuke is still waiting but i'm guessing that's the countdown for the nuke and of course, that nuke is not being constructed there for no reason. It's a teaser, most likely, for Season 4. And again, I'm guessing that the map is going to get nuked and the Hydro Dam, or not the Hydro Dam, the dam is going to break. And maybe, I don't know, 30 to 50% of the map will be flooded, just like it got flooded back in um, Blackout. And at the same time, it's probably going to be nuked. So yeah, the map might look a lot different and crazier, but again... We'll have to wait and see, and I just, I cannot wait, man. I'm super hyped. I'm also pretty hyped for the intro cinematic for Season 4 because, again, right now in Season 3, we have gotten so many teasers for it that I just cannot wait. And also, I guess there's an RCXE being constructed in one of the huts by Prison and Porter, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't know if this is a teaser for Season 4 or COD 2020, but that's another thing. <laughs> And oh my goodness guys, another thing that I hope Infinity Ward continues to do in the future seasons 
are easter eggs like that one mp7 blueprint you can only obtain by opening bunker 11 and picking it up i seriously hope that infinity ward continues to put more secret blueprints into warzone like that where you can only get them by completing certain steps or doing a little easter egg like opening bunker 11 and picking it up and then you earn it for the first time and you're able to use it in spec ops warzone and multiplayer whenever you'd like and that mp7 blueprint looks pretty badass man so again I just hope Infinity War continues to do that and it doesn't always have to be in the form of an easter egg, it, it could also be like maybe, I don't know, do, doing a couple of different steps, like maybe opening up a certain place and then you'll be able to get a secret blueprint like that, I don't know, anything like that though, that'd be pretty sick. But yeah guys, that was pretty much my season 3 review and honestly guys, I would give season 3 an easy 9 out of 10. This season was a lot of fun, pretty interesting, lots of teasers and I just cannot wait for season 4. And Again, pretty impressive knowing that Infinity Ward was able to pull so much off, update the game a lot more frequently, even during the pandemic. And again, guys, I mentioned that part because it's almost a given for most developers to not be able to, you know, push out a lot of updates right now because I'm guessing it's hard to work from at home or a little bit harder and a little more difficult. But again, they managed to pull it off and for that reason, I give them props. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much all I got to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you guys are alerted every single time over i upload and let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about season three did you guys think that this was one of the better seasons maybe one of the worst seasons or a boring season interesting season anything let me know <laughs> i'm interested to hear your guys' opinions on uh, season 3 because again mine i thought season 3 was a lot of fun and pretty interesting because a lot of things went down but i don't know i want to hear your guys' opinions on season 3 and again, I cannot wait for Season 4, man. Seeing all of this go down during Season 3 just makes me so hyped for Season 4. And again, I cannot wait. I'm super hyped. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get back on the grind. Or actually, I'm going to go ahead and sleep because it's literally 3 a.m. already. So <laughs> thank you guys for the last time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like. And hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Saturday. And with all that being said, it's been John. Ready to go to sleep and ready for Season 4 as well. And I'm out. Peace. Thank you.